We're Optowatt. We lower your Tesla's electric bill by 70% on average and make charging effortless, all while making our planet greener. Signing up is 100% free and only takes a few seconds. Visit getoptowatt.com. Add your home and Optowatt will automatically load in your electricity rates. Stop guessing what driving your Tesla costs. Opt Hi, I'm Ben with Optowatt and today we're gonna go over the manual plan. So what the manual plan is, is our option within Optowatt allowing you to set a schedule based on the rates and times that you have by your electrical plans. So for like solar users or say if the rates that we have on the app aren't correct or something that you want, that you can manually go in and change it to what you need. So let's go ahead and take a look at the manual plan and let's go over it together. Manual plan and how manual plan works is it allows you to choose the off peak, mid peak and uh, super off peak times. So you can choose any of those times that you need to be. It's so like, say, if your electric plan's not in the account, or let's say your rates aren't correct, or you just want to do it yourself, we give that option to our users to allow to enter their information in. So we go to the settings page from the dashboard, and then we're going to go to, oh, got a little ahead of ourselves there. We're going to go to utility plan and hit change. And from there, we're going to do add utility plan manually. And it's going to give us a couple options here in the beginning where it says new plan. So it's going to be right here where it says checkbox from weekdays are different on weekends. So a lot of users have this. Some users don't. And then the different rates for different months. This is for like your winter and summer rates, how they shift over during the seasons. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And then to get started, hit add plan. And it's going to bring you here for your weekday rates. And then if you see right here, you're going to also have your weekend uh, rates. And it's grayed out currently because we have to enter in our information. So I'm going to do 17 cents. We're going to do a quick 4 to 9 simple plan where 9 p.m. to 4 p.m. is the off peak. And then during 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. is your peak. So that allows me to do that. And you hit plus. So once I'm done with everything and I've hit the plus button, that'll allow me to hit submit. And that'll take me down to weekends. So some people have their whole weekend as off peak. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up as the whole weekend as off peak hit the plus button again hit submit and that'll bring you here to the month selector so i'm going to select january oops there we go january right here and then add it if i wanted to change that to december whole year so you can select the months that you want but i'm going to go ahead and do it as january is a single month and then i'm going to go ahead and do six cents for off peak and then I'm going to do 7, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And then we're going to do 15 cents for 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. 35 cents for 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So this is going to be an example of what a mid-peak plan will look like. It's 5 p.m., 7 p.m. And so with that, you can see right here in the charging graph, and that'll show up on the main page. Like, this is just an example of everything. So it gives us our breakdown, and then we're going to hit Submit. And let's do 15 cents. From yep. you got to make sure you hit the correct characters because if you don't hit the correct characters in here, it will not accept it and it'll say error and so it'll make you re-enter it again. And then we're gonna do six cents again from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. There we go. And we're going to take this from February all the way to May. Now, I haven't forgot about flat rate users. If you want to do a flat rate, you do not have to hit weekend or months if it's just 24-7. So, again, here's a 24-7 rate, 12 cents. I have the weekend rate selected, so we're just going to do the same. If you wanted to do, I always do 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. It's simple for me. You can put any time. So, if you want to do 1 p.m. to 1 p.m. and select that, you can. And we're going to make this from June to September. Hit enter. And so with that, we have a variety of options that you can do. Um, for example, for solar, a lot of times we do three zeros and a one. And that normally falls in between like 7 a.m. 
to like 11 a.m. for solar. And then let's do 35 for 11 a.m. to, let's do seven, just let me, let's do 5 p.m. So with that, if you on if you want to for solar, you could do that. Or let's say with your solar, you get a credit. So I've seen a lot of these recently where it's like 0 0.01. And let's do that. Or like not even just with solar, there's EV charging credits out there. So you can input your EV charging credit. Let's say this goes all the way to 7 a.m. The graph is going to go at a negative right here. And then you see po negative 0 0.01. One. So with that, we can do that. And let's say that it's like negative the entire weekend. And then I'll give an example of the nope. negative then numbers. And then remember to hit that plus button. So we can hit submit. And then that will give us, let's say this is October to December. So I filled out my whole calendar, and then once you're hit done, hit that plus button, and then hit submit. So this is going to put this on the, the plan after you hit submit, and then it'll upload it immediately to your account. So if you have any questions on this, reach out to support at getoffthewatt.com. Reach out to us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even our Reddit page. We are more than happy to help, and thanks for watching.